everyone it's elaine thank you for joining me today on my channel today i'm going to be sharing this set of four cards i made using the studio katia meowy halloween stamp set and i hope you enjoy the process video so let's get started first of all i've taken some pieces of heavyweight white cardstock cut into a2 size and also taken some copy paper in the same size and I'm using pitch raspberry, carved pumpkin, twisted citron and wilted violet distress inks for these cards along with some repositionable adhesive spray, the stamp set and waffle flower, inverted circles, magnolia, spooky fence and this one is molly bloom spider web which is really pretty. So I'm first of all taking my pieces of copy paper and using this as my mask. So I've cut that using my Big Shot. So I've cut all four sheets together, so I'll have one for each colour. And off camera I did spray this um, circle with the repositionable adhesive. It's really sticky, <laughs> really sticky. So it's hard to see on camera, but I've stuck down that circle. And I'm taking, first of all, I'm taking my picked raspberry. I tapped some of that off on a piece of scrap paper so that I have a little bit more control over the colour. And I just blend that all around the edge, being careful not to get into the centre of that circle area. And I use a scrap piece of card. My fingers are really sticky, so that piece of card sticks to my fingers, which is quite handy. And I'm just applying the ink in the same way to all four pieces of card. So this one's Twisted Citroen and lastly we've got Wilted Violet and I think these are just really cool colours for Halloween. And again just another piece of scrap paper on my fingers just so I don't get ink and glue marks into my distress inks. And then I just take some black soot and water it down on my craft mat and then just apply some splatters. And I cover up that middle area because I don't want any black splatters in that centre. I have other plans for that part. So once I've finished doing that and I've let everything dry, I'm now taking that spider web stamp and attempt to secure it to my stamp positioner, but I haven't taken the backing off. So we'll try again. And I'm going to use my embossing buddy and my Versamark ink. And just in the top left and bottom right hand corner, I'm just going to have partially stamped and embossed spider web and I embossed this with a, like a holographic sparkly glittery embossing powder so it's quite subtle but when it catches the light it's really pretty so hopefully you can sort of see it there And then I do that for all of the cards and then I just take my heat gun and melt all of that embossing powder. And it actually isn't quite as glittery once it's been heat set, but you can just about see it on camera. So then I go ahead and I remove my masks from all of the cards. And then I just take my black soot distress ink on an ink blending tool and I just go around the edges just to distress the edges a little bit, give it a bit of depth and dimension. And then I'm going to go ahead and create my scene. So I'm taking my, my favourite things mini cloud stencil and taking the sort of coordinating ink pad. So this one's picked raspberry and I'm blending on some lovely soft fluffy clouds into each of the middles of those cards. So this one's the carved pumpkin.
and then the wilted violet. So really soft, but really pretty clouds. So now I'm taking my MFT Spooky Treat stamp set and I'm just going to start building my scene. So now I'm taking the other part of that mask, the copy paper mask, and I do this assembly line style. So I try and do each of the card steps at the same time. So now I'm taking my Versafine Onyx Black ink. And I just start stamping my spooky, creepy branch in my scene. So I stamp that down a few times just to make sure I get a nice, good, dark impression. And then I can move on to my next card, my carved pumpkin. And then my twisted citron. And then my wilted violet. And while I'm doing these ones, the other ones are drying off a little bit. So hopefully when I start working on my picked raspberry again, these branches will be all nice and dry. So then I take my cards again and I reapply my mask just so I can start to help build my scene and see where I want the other elements in the card to go. So I play around with that for a little while. This does, did take me quite a long time to figure out so I haven't bored you with that. But now I'm taking this Spooky Fence by Magnolia. And for this one I am going to just test it out on a piece of acetate just to make sure I'm happy with where I've positioned it. And then I put my mask back on just to make sure I'm happy with how it's going to look. And once I'm happy, I um, remember to use my embossing buddy because I'm going to heat emboss this so that it's nice and glossy. So I use my embossing buddy and then my VersaFine Onyx Black ink again. And I stamp all of my fences first before moving on to the heat embossing. It's just easier for me anyway to do all the steps at the same time. So then I'm going to go ahead and add my embossing powder to the fence and heat set that with my heat tool. And then again with the picked raspberry, the carved pumpkin and the twisted citron. So now for my sort of grass I'm going to use my lawn fawn grassy border and some American Crafts black sort of glitter paper. And that's going to be the base for my little pussy cat to be sitting on. A lot of it will get covered up by the cat and the sort of border going around the edge. But I thought it was a nice glittery touch because I love a bit of glitter and I wanted to kind of keep everything in my scene black just to kind of give it a cohesive sort of silhouette look against the cloud. So once I've stuck all those little grassy banks down I then take the sort of inverted circle border I apply the distress ink in the same colours and then very gently add a little bit of black soot around the edge of each of those circles. Just to help it all tie in nicely. And now it's time to glue them onto my card. So I just use a bit of Nouveau liquid adhesive for this. And line everything up and then stick those down. They did want to keep trying to peel up, so I had to press them down for a, a few seconds just to help them adhere securely. So I go ahead and do that for all of the cards. 
and then I move on to my sentiment. Now I wasn't too happy with how this one turned out. I tried to stamp it all in one go and I just felt there was like too big a gap between the two stamp sets. So I do change that in the next card. So I stamp the have a meowy first and I do that for all of my card all of the remaining cards. Again, I'm going to be embossing these this sentiment, so use my embossing buddy before stamping. And then I'm going to go ahead and use the Halloween stamp and position that to the left a little bit more. It just I just felt it looked better. It felt more cohesive. And just more pleasing to the eye. So I did leave the purple one how, or the wilted violet, I think it was wilted violet. Um, ha but I may go ahead and change that at some stage. So now I'm just applying some clear embossing powder to all of the sentiments. And I shall go ahead and then heat set each of those. And then finally, I have coloured all of these images off camera. I have got a video on my colouring of this stamp set. And I have co tried to coordinate the colours of the cat's collar and hat and sweets to the background colour, the distress inks I've used. So now it's a case of just applying those to my card. So I take the pumpkins and then I pop the little sweet in the cat's paws, apply some glue. This is my Tombow Mono Multi Glue. And I just stick everything down. And just add that little sweet to the side. And I do that process for all of the cards. So they're all done. And then I've just taken some A2 sized white card bases and I'm using my Tombow Mono Multi Glue again to adhere those down onto the card base. So that's that one done. I go ahead and do that for the carved pumpkin. Just making sure they're really nicely secured down. And there's my Twisted Citron and my Wilted Violet. And picked Raspberry. And just as a final element to finish off, I add some Spectrum Noir Clear Sparkle Pen to the band on the hat, the collar and the sweets. And off camera I did add a bit of Jelly Roll Clear Glaze Pen to those as well. So I hope you enjoyed that video today. I've really enjoyed making these cards. I've been making them for a long time. You may have seen in my Instagram stories that I've been gradually making these cards step by step. There's the sparkly spider webs, which I think look really cool. Everything will be listed down in the description box below. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and hit the notification bell. And I look forward to sharing more of my cards, especially Halloween cards, very shortly with you. And I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.